Well, CBS 2's Christine Lazar is live near Phelan, where several homes were destroyed. Christine. Well, Paul, we're right off Highway 138 and dotted up and down this road. This is what you'll find, homes that were completely devastated by the fire. You can see with this home, really all you have is a portion of the exterior. And even that, when we get a strong wind gust, which we've been getting lots of, you'll start to see that waver in the wind. And over here, I want to show you, there's some farming equipment. Um, I believe the people who lived here were farming fruit and vegetables. So it is very likely that they not only lost their home, but also their business. A reunion Ron Ramirez didn't think was possible. We're very fortunate. We're very thankful. Yesterday, when the blue cut fire surrounded his home, he was working out of town. Roadblocks kept him from getting back to rescue his three dogs. This morning, he finally made it home, and it was still standing, along with three very thirsty dogs. All the houses across the street are to the ground. Everything is burnt to the foundation, so, so I didn't have much hope for our place, but. We got, we were fortunate. This is our reception area. Noretta Barker runs an animal rescue just down the road. Somehow her property is still standing, despite being surrounded by charred hillsides. It's very emotional. I just, I just could cry. I'm so happy that. That, that it's still here, and I'm so devastated for the people that lost stuff. Yesterday, Barker's workers were able to remove 15 dogs and three cats before the fire overtook the area. We were extremely lucky here at the ranch. All of our buildings are intact, and we're going to be able to operate again soon, and that is truly thanks to the first responders, police and fire, the bravest people on the planet. There is an account on how many homes were destroyed, but it doesn't look good. This property was decimated. The cars burned. The home no longer standing. The only thing left are three cows standing guard at the front gate. Somehow they managed to escape the quick moving fire. People lost everything. Some people lost most everything. It's just, it's devastated this community. And back out here live just to show you how random the devastation is. All these charred hillsides and right there a home that is completely intact. And even down here at this home, as you walk around, you see some areas not even touched by the fire and then others uh, completely devastated by it. So uh, those roadblocks still up. We've only seen maybe two or three people today. It really is like a ghost town around here. But as they start to trickle in and some of them are finding ways to get back here despite the closures, a lot of them are going to come home to this. Susie. Back to you in the okay. studio.